I had all kinds of episodes I was gonna start putting on. I was gonna talk more about, like, you know, I could have talked about the benefits of having a SoundCloud or, you know, talked about the benefits of having a Reverb Nation. I could have been talking about my single, Devoted, and the music video is out now. So, you know, that's streaming on all platforms. I could have been talking about SOG, which is streaming on all platforms. But no. No, I feel like this is a topic we need to talk about right now. And what we're going to talk about is the Avengers Endgame. And this mug was everything I wanted. Everything I wanted in that movie. Everything I wanted in the sequel. You know what I'm saying? It was really, 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 really. I say trap to this music. I say trap to this beat. I go hard up in the club. I go hard up in the street. The street. Shout out to my players and my go getters. Go get that guy that get it lifestyle. Let's go and get it. Let's go and get it. Shout out to my haters and my non supporters. You got me working harder. Got me more devoted. Got me more devoted. Shout out to my haters and my non supporters. My you got me working harder, got me more devoted. Good rhymes, good times. Good rhymes, good times. Good rhymes, good times. I gotta get it, you gotta get it. Good rhymes, good times. Good rhymes, good times. Good rhymes, good times. I'm down with it if you with it. Uh. Watch me do my thing, watch me do my thing. Uh. Super Bowl, bring up on my pinky. Just in case people that don't know what it is, let me go ahead and do it in a PG layman's terms. It's about a guy who's evil as heck, and he needs to collect all the Infinity Stones. So he get, goes against all the uh, superheroes, and he beat them. He collected all the Infinity Stones, and then he said, and when he... That's when half of the universe was destroyed. 50% of the population, anything living, humans, animals, aliens, you name it, is breathing, it's probably not breathing because he just and destroyed everything. So that's kind of where Endgame comes into right after. So let's go into uh, what happens next. Two, three weeks after, two, three weeks after, everybody's still around like, oh, what are we going to do, Captain America and all of them. And then next thing, oh, you know, I'm doing a terrible review so far. Okay, let's go ahead and start off. What happens with Iron Man? So Iron Man, old girl out there, right? And he's about to die. And don't. Man, I'm telling you, man, I should have posted this or something last year. Because as soon as I saw the trailer of him in space and it looked like he about to die, I said it from the get-go. Captain Marvel going to save his ass. Captain Marvel is going to save him. And I don't know if I told my BM this. Whoever I went to the movies uh, to see uh, when I saw that trailer and all that stuff. And when I seen the movie Captain Marvel in general... I'm telling you, I called it. But it's not like I get a cookie for that or anything like that. So, Captain Marvel saves him. And next thing you know, they get to Earth. And then she finds out what happened to Fur uh, Cap you know, Fury, of course. If you've seen what happened in that one trailer, at the end of Captain Marvel, you see her show up like, where's Fury? So you already know. So now they're all like, how are we going to defeat Thanos? How are we going to figure out where we can find Thanos? 
how they do it. Really thinking about it. How are they gonna get Thanos? Easy. Cause Captain Marvel already knew where he was at. Looked up the planet, figured he was there. On top of the robotic chick also helped as well. Talking about if the plan ever happened and that really got accomplished. We're gonna go to the garden. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's go to the garden. I went to the garden and found him. And he was looking weak. He looked like he done snapped off again. Because come to find out, after he did that first, he went on ahead and did it again because he couldn't handle all that power. So he destroyed all the stones. Went to another planet. Did that again. This time he destroyed the rest of the universe, I guess. He ended up just destroying the rest of the stones. All six of them. All six of them. Destroyed the stones. And then Thor went on ahead and decapitated him. And then Thanos died. And so it's just like, well, we can't bring nobody back. So what do we do? Earth, what do we do? How is everybody going to come back all of a sudden? Gotta get it lifestyle, let's go and get it. Let's go and get it. Shout out to my haters and my non-supporters. You yeah, got me working harder, got me more devoted. Shout out to my haters and my non-supporters. You yeah, got me working harder, got me more devoted. Good rhymes, good times. Good rhymes, good times. Good rhymes, good times. I gotta get it, you gotta get it. Good rhymes, good times. Good rhymes, good times. Good rhymes, good times. I'm down with it if you with it. Uh Watch me do my thing, watch me do my thing. Super Bowl ring up on my pinky ring. I got So they're trying to get through life, act like everything is cool. Everybody's on different planets. Some people are just trying to get things figured out and stuff like that. Like they found out what was going on with uh, the Arrow dude. He out there just murking people because he survived and his whole entire family died. And it was sad too because he was showing this girl, his, his oldest daughter, how to do some archery stuff. Kids playing around, wife all like, hey, I'm a wife, and next thing you know, he was trying to see what his daughter was doing, he couldn't find his daughter, and all of a sudden everything else disappeared, and so ever since then, he's been going on the rampage and just been murdering, like, gangs and stuff like that. He's like, you claiming gang gang? Well, I'm claiming slang slang. Chopping them ups. Yeah. I feel like I got a little bit offbeat on that one. But, yeah, the arrow dude, he there. So, everybody's like, how's everything going to get back to normal? Probably. Because I feel like I've been running off a little bit. But, how does he get everything back to normal? Ant-Man. If you see Ant-Man the Wasp... When he was going in time and doing some cool science stuff, he got stuck. And then he finally comes out five years later, and he's trying to figure out what's going on. And, of course, his whole team is dead. Daughter's still alive, though, and got older, of course, because it's five years later. So he found that out. Came up to the Avengers building, seen Captain America and everybody else that's left. Almost everybody. Because see, Captain Marvel, she's doing some, her thing in a different planet. Because she got to pay attention to other universes and stuff. Uh, then everybody else was just chilling everywhere else. Wasn't really no violence going on because it's like... Nobody wouldn't do no stuff like that afterwards. But... 
They figured it out. Ant-Man figured it out. Because he was saying to himself, maybe if we could do this and do that, this could work. And Captain America looking at him just like, you mean like time travel? And he's like, yeah, time travel. <laughs> Boom, process. Think about that. Spoilers. So what they do next? Five years pass by. Tony Stark is already like, I'm done. We lost. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. His lady was good. They got married. Ended up having a kid. He's cool with his life right now. But they need his help. They need to figure out how they're going to do this time travel stuff. And he didn't want to help him. He liked how his life is right now. He don't want to help him. He just he just knew there's no way he could just he just didn't think it was possible. But he figured it out. But before he figured it out, they went and hollered at the Hulk. Cause now the Hulk you remember in the in the first one, the Infinity War, where Thanos just whooped his ass and it's like he just didn't pop up again because he's like, I don't want it again. Come to figure out, he beat Hulk, he beat Banner, and somehow it just mold together and he's just like, I'm the Hulk all the time now. This is just me. And he's wearing clothes. <laughs> he's wearing clothes, man. But they tried to see if they could try it themselves. See if they could figure it out. See if he could do what he can. Ant-Man going back in the past and stuff. He coming back as an old person. He's coming back as a baby. Then he'll finally come back normal. And he's just like, you know, I, don't, I feel like I peed on myself. And I don't know if it was the old me or the baby me. Mm. So then, Tony Stark shows up. He's just like, let me go ahead and help y'all out real quick. Because he ain't going to leave it all hanging like that. So they go ahead and get everybody together. What's left. And we're going to go with a little smoke break. We will add. Yeah, yeah. I stay trapped into this music, I stay trapped into this beat I go hard up in the club, I go hard up in the street The street. Shout out to my players and my go-getters go That gotta get it lifestyle, let's go and get it, let's go and get it. Shout out to my haters and my non-supporters you, you got me working harder, got me more devoted Going back in time. <coughs> so they find out how to get everything working. And what they got to do is they got to go back in time within the last five, six years or so, even close to 10, for some of the Infinity Stones. What they're trying to do basically is get all the stones together snap their fingers again and hopefully that brings everybody back that's what their plan is is that gonna work let me continue the story so that was their plan everybody split into certain different teams and stuff like that so they can go after that infinity stone they had to go back in the past they can't interact with nobody like that they just had to get those stones and go and you know it was not going down that easy because Captain America and Iron Man was together and they tried to go back for that uh, that blue stone, not the power stone, that's my favorite one, that's the purple one, but the other one where you could just go in different places and stuff like that, the one that Loki had, they went back to the first Avengers so they can grab it from after they beat him up and all that stuff and man, who would know all this extra stuff would have happened but 
Once they thought they had it, they didn't have it. Loki took it. I'm screwed. So they had to go back even further back in time to like Captain America, the first Avenger, basically. They had to go that far back and they had to freaking get the stone from there. Tony Stark met his dad and all that stuff and all that. But they got it though. That was a good thing. Thor and Rocket, which Thor comes back, he's been a slouch. He turns out to have a dad bod and he just he just don't care. But he wants to help and he knew he was going to get a whole bunch of liquor for it. Free booze. He goes back. Yeah, so they end up going back. They end up picking up that stone. Uh, they end up getting the stone that they need. It's just that uh, while he was back there, you know, he got that big old axe now that he ended up killing Thanos in the few, you know, present time or whatever. He ended up having that axe. And then he went back and got his other hammer as well. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah, man. So, he ended up grabbing his old hammer. And he got his axe. So, he got two hammers. He went back in the... When they went back, they got the stone. And then he came back with two hammers. Then they had to go with the soul stone. And that was with the arrow dude and freaking Black Widow. And you know what happens when you do the Soul Stone. You had to go ahead and sacrifice someone. And Arrow wanted to sacrifice himself. But Black Widow sacrificed herself for him. And that's how he got the Soul Stone. And everybody else eventually getting their stones. Like uh, Bruce Banner. He got the Time Stone. It was kind of hard to do because, you know, that one chick, the bald head chick that basically showed Doctor Strange everything or whatever, you know, she wasn't having that. She was like, Hoo! push him right out of that Hulk and everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And uh, eventually talked to him, ended up getting that stone. So everybody getting the stones, everything's going how they want it to go. The Power Stone, they had to go back to the Guardians of the Galaxy. And that's where it was War Machine and uh, who else was there? It was War Machine and uh, the Robotic Chick. But see, what happened was the Robotic Chick from the past still interacting with the Robotic Chick in the present because she's a robot. So whatever kind of memory she has, it just so happened to hit the chick in the pre in the in the few, in the past or whatever. So Thanos was kind of a little bit ahead of the game, like, oh, so I did end up accomplishing it. He even seen his own death, and he was just like, I completed my destiny. So that's when they ended up having the one up, sort of. Like I said. This is when this gets really, really good. SOT, SOT, smoking on gas, smoking on gas, smoking on gas, I'm smoking on gas. SOT, smoking on gas, smoking on gas, smoking on gas, I'm smoking on gas. SOT, smoking on gas, smoking on gas, smoking on gas, SOT, smoking on gas. This is the final chapter part of what I was saying. While you know, you're checking out my ads and all that stuff. Appreciate everybody, you know what I'm saying, checking this mug out. You already know where you can follow your boy yet. Just Google Dose of THA, the hashtag, or without it. I'm everywhere. My resume speaks for itself. Good rhymes, good times. Dropping in June. You know what I'm saying? But on to the final part. So, they end up collecting all the stones. And they're trying to figure out. They ended up making their own like Infinity Gauntlet and stuff like that, like adjustable hand size and everything. It's like Iron Man with the gauntlet, basically. It was in red and silver and all that stuff. So they're trying to figure out 
Who should snap it? And at first, Thor wanted to. He really wanted to real bad. It's just that he's not in the right mind, you know what I'm saying? He already feels bad about it because he felt like he should aim for the head. And then if he would aim for the head, maybe the snap would not have happened. And then next thing you know, when they met him in the in the present time, of course, he finally aimed for the head, but it's like, it don't matter now because he already got rid of him and stuff. So now they're here at this time, at this moment, with all the Infinity Stones. Who's going to make this happen again? Who's going to bring everybody back? Guess. 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 Who ends up doing it? At first, Tony Stark wanted to do it. Then Thor. Bruce Banner went on ahead and do it. He feels like because it has so much gamma and all that stuff, and it's like not regular human is supposed to be able to do it anyway, he felt like he was the best one to do it. The best man for the job. And he did it. But they didn't know if he was bringing everybody back per se. Until the next thing you know, Arrow got that call, his wife was calling him. Ant-Man looking outside on the balcony and stuff like that at the Avengers place on the patio. I think it worked. And then next thing you know, Thanos. The Thanos from the past. So this is Thanos with none of the stones. And what I'm about to tell you next is just like, I was watching and I was just like, Thanos a bad motherfucker. So, this is what happened. Thanos just shoots up the spots. All army, everything. He's like, get me that motherfucking... He said, I'm just gonna sit here. Because the robotic chick or whatever, he ends up taking her... And like I said, finds out about that info, took her eventually, and was like, yeah, I know what's going on. So they got the present robotic chick, and the old robotic chick is in there, acting like she's really the present robotic chick, but they didn't know, though. And, yeah, that's another reason why they got caught up on everything. So she's going in there, going to look for the hand, while what's left of everybody right now is Captain America, Iron Man, and Thor against Thanos. And the fight was so good, but at the same damn time, Thanos whooped all three of them. He's like, you can't hold me. I'm Thanos with his cool double edged blade and Yeah, it was it was intense. It was intense. It was pretty dope. I must say, it was pretty dope. But eventually his army about to attack, and the next thing you know, you realize everybody's back alive. So imagine Black Panther, Spider-Man, everybody from freaking Doctor Strange and his group, freaking everybody from Captain America's group, and Captain Marvel pull, uh, pulls up eventually too. To do her thing. Guardians is back. Everybody's back. And it's just an all out war. Who's going to win what? The gauntlet's around. They're trying to figure out who's going to hit the gauntlet. Whatever. Because what they want to do was take all of them back. And keep it moving. It's not going down like that. So all through the epic battle. Just to finish it. Sum it up the ending of it. Because you still have to go out and see the movie. Definitely. But long story short, Thanos whooped everybody still. 
I'm talking about Captain Marvel even did her she did her thing but at the same time though she got whooped and then even Captain America I don't know how I really don't know how but somehow Captain America was able to use Thor's hammer now and he started whooping Thanos too but then eventually Thanos whooped him too <laughs> it was ridiculous it was like a lot it's a lot going on everybody ha got a piece of Thanos and Thanos gave a piece back to each and every one of them times three with no infinity stones zero he's just doing this hand to hand I got weapons it don't matter I'm whooping you savage Adrian Broen he was savage from day one. So, how they end it all? Thanos ended up grabbing the gauntlet, thank you. But Captain uh, Marvel gets it off of him. Everybody else is getting whooped. So, ain't much anybody could really do. And the next thing you know, it's down to Iron Man. Iron Man coming here to do this thing. And next thing you know, he got the gauntlet from him. And... I'm talking about I am Iron Man and destroyed Thanos whole entire group and then he died too that was the sad part of the film actually so moment of silence and that was basically the movie everybody went back to their own separate ways everybody started doing their own thing so Black Widow never coming back. They got the green chick from the Guardians. They got the one from the past, because eventually she believed in what she was saying. The future one was saying, killed the other chick, the uh, the past robotic chick or whatever. So she got to get used to everybody in the team. Also, Thor leaves with the Guardians. So Thor leaves with the Guardians. Banner does his thing. Stark is dead. Captain America went back in the past. And now he's just like an old man Steve Rogers. Yeah. Yo, all I really, all I really, all I really want. All I really, all I really, all I want is you. All I really, all I really, all I really, all I really, all I want is you. All I really want is you. I be spitting what I want. I be spitting what I want. If you looking at my neck, you will see my Jesus peace don't front. It's on point, like my name is Stephen Curry. I don't give a fuck, I get it in a hurry. When outside making the music because the CD, the album's done. Good rhymes, good times. It's coming now, baby. <laughs> y'all have a good night because it's almost four in the morning. But uh, I hope y'all appreciate my uh, review. It is what it is. Y'all like it. All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>